song of victory is in, in the atmosphere. Is in the atmosphere. Let's praise Him, Barbara. Let's give God praise. Levine. We 
Queenie, come on, Warrior G, come on, let's praise him. Hallelujah, McKenna, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Sharika, come on, the sound of victory. This is your day, this is your time, this is your year of victory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on and praise him, hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless your name, we praise your name, God. The sound of victory is in the atmosphere. The sound of victory is in the atmosphere. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, I'm waiting as you come in on today. Come on, this is Apostolic Warriors TV. As you come in, come on. I want you to come in. I want you to also like and share. Like and share this link. Hallelujah. As you come in, send it out to somebody else. Share it with somebody else. Let them know that the sound of victory is in the atmosphere. Hallelujah. The sound of victory is here. Hallelujah. You got the victory on the day. Come on and praise him. Hallelujah. Come on and shout out to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give God praise. We give God glory. We welcome you in. We welcome you in. Come on, as you come in, we give God praise. We give God glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hear the sound of victory. The sound of victory is in the atmosphere. And so, listen, I, I, I want to just go and, and play a little piece, to, uh, play that over one more time, just a little piece more, because I believe some more people need to hear that. Hallelujah. Could you bring it up for me in the morning? This, hallelujah. Uh, uh, hallelujah. Bring it up. Bring it up. Hallelujah. Because we, 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 we want you to know that the sound of victory, you won, you won, you won, you won. Hallelujah. Come on now. And we're going to just go and, and play this one more time. We welcome you today to apostolic hallelujah warriors tv hallelujah listen listen this is our official launch our official launch hallelujah apostolic warriors tv and so we want to welcome hallelujah we welcome you officially all of you that are on online with us right now on youtube hallelujah we invite you as you come in we want you to go ahead and I uh, like it, hallelujah, and after you have liked it, then share it. Send it out, send it out to some, uh, all of those people in your contact on the day. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The sound of victory is, is in the atmosphere. We won, we won, we won. Hallelujah. Come on, help me praise him up with you. Hallelujah. We won, come on, we won. and give God we praise. Won. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're not going to be we very won. long, but we just want to, we wanted to do it officially. We wanted to welcome we you. Won. This is Apostle Edison Knowledge, hallelujah. And so we come into you, hallelujah. We come to motivate you. We come to encourage you. We come to build your faith, hallelujah. Hallelujah, and let you know that the sound of victory, the sound of victory is in the atmosphere. Don't let the devil tell you you lose, hallelujah. Don't let the devil tell you you're losing, hallelujah. Because you're not losing, you got the victory. You got the victory in the name of Jesus. So we winning, we are winning, hallelujah. So you need to send that out to somebody, text that out to somebody as you text that link out to them. Let them know, hallelujah, that we won, we won, we won. When Jesus died on the cross, hallelujah, when he came back up, hallelujah, from the grave, he gave us the victory. Hallelujah, he took the victory. He took it for us, hallelujah. He took it for uh, the victory over death and over hell and the grave, hallelujah. And he has given it unto us. And so we won, we won. We, we're not going to win, we already won. Did you hear what I said? We are not going to win, but we have already won because Jesus won the battle for us. We just gotta continue to walk out and continue to live in what Jesus have already established for us on the day. Hallelujah. And so the sound of victory. Come on, come on, praise him. Woo! Hallelujah. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! We won. We won, <laughs> we won the victory, 
We won. We won. We won. We won. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. We won. We won the victory. Woo. We won. We won. We won. We won the victory. Woo. We won. We won. We won. Yeah. Woo. It's in the atmosphere. It's in the atmosphere. Come on, just reach up and grab it. Reach up and grab it. The sound of victory. Yeah. In the atmosphere. It's in the atmosphere. Whoa. Yeah. say it. I want you to believe it. I want you to believe it. That you won the victory. We won the victory. We won. We won. We won. won. Yeah. He's in the atmosphere. He's in the atmosphere. Is in the atmosphere. Oh yes, is in the atmosphere. Yeah, in the atmosphere. Hallelujah! Come on, somebody, and give God praise on this beautiful day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah! We will rejoice. We will rejoice, and we will be glad in this day. We just want to give God praise. Hallelujah! For allowing us to see. A brand new day, hallelujah, a beautiful day, hallelujah. And so we honor God. The sound of victory is in the atmosphere. Hallelujah, the sound of victory is in the atmosphere. I just wanted to know one. I want to ask you as you are tuning out there, can you hear the sound of victory? Are you hearing the sound of victory? What sound are you hearing on the day? Is it the sound of victory, hallelujah, or, are, or is the devil trying to make you feel like you are defeated? Well, you got to rebuke the devil, you got to resist the devil, and let the devil know you are not defeated, but you have the victory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You got the victory in Jesus' name. So let's give God praise on the day. Let's bless God on the day, wherever you find yourself on the day. Come on, lift your voices, clap your hands, give God praise. Hallelujah. 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 Because you got the victory. I came to let you know that you have the victory. Hallelujah. We came to tell you today, once again, that you have the victory. Hallelujah. And so, irregardless to how it may look, how things may sound around you, how things may look around you, you just just have to keep on confessing that you have the victory. The sound of victory is in the atmosphere. So we give God praise and we give God glory and we give God honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so we came today, we just wanted to welcome you officially. Hallelujah. To the Apostolic Warriors TV. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have launched. Hallelujah. And, and, and you know, I just wanted to take this time to just thank all of you that have 
already came on and subscribed. Hallelujah. And you're on right now watching us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so we want to encourage you. Come on, as you are on, we want to encourage you. Just take the link as you have liked it. Send it out to some people in your chat. Hallelujah. And let them know that Apostolic TV is live. Hallelujah. And then also we want those of you that have not yet subscribed. If you will just please take a minute. I know you have so much to do. And this is this is like a busy time of the, the afternoon. Hallelujah. When you are, you're either picking up kids or maybe getting off of work or maybe even going to work. Hallelujah. But we just want you to just take a minute and just subscribe. Just, just subscribe. Hallelujah. Ring that bell. Hallelujah. Subscribe and ring the bell and become a part of what God wants to do. Hallelujah. We, we just want to let you know that we came to, you know, this station is about lifting you up, building your faith, building your faith. And, and just a minute, I'm going to assure you from the scriptures that the thing that the devil is after most is your faith, is your faith. Hallelujah. He wants you to lose your faith. Hallelujah. And so we're going to get ready to go in to the word in just a minute. Hallelujah. But we just give God praise. Hallelujah, Father. We bless your name. Let's take a minute and pray. We honor you and we adore you. We thank you, Lord God, for all that you have done. We thank you because of who you are. Hallelujah. We know that we could not be who we are except we have connected to you. Hallelujah. And so we thank you for who you are and what you are doing in our lives. We thank you for watching over us and protecting us. We thank you for your, for your presence that is here and that is right where we are. And we thank you, Lord, that because of you, the gates of hell cannot prevail and will not prevail. We ask that you will bless your people on this day. In Jesus' mighty name, bless us now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Come on and praise him. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We give God thanks and, and praise for what he is doing. Hallelujah. In this hour and in this season. Hallelujah. This is, I still believe, it is the greatest time for the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, many people may say, wow, why would you make a statement like that? This is the greatest time for the church. Well, this is the greatest time for the church. Hallelujah. This is time for the believers. This is time for the righteous. Hallelujah. And so, uh, 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 like I said, don't mind the noise in the market. Don't get too consumed by what's going on out there. You know, just, uh, I guess, a couple of days ago, everyone was gearing up when they were gearing up for the eclipse. Amen. And hallelujah, so people were traveling all over, moving from one, one city, one state to the next because they wanted to get a glimpse of the eclipse. And then there were some people who was wondering what was going to happen. Was something dramatic going to happen? Was the earth going to flood? Was the earth going to come to the end? Was there going to be some explosion, some storm, some strong wind? So people were all over and they were moving around because they wanted to see what was going to happen. Well, the eclipse came. And the eclipse gone. And from, from what I hear, ain't too much happens. Hallelujah. More than, you know, you may get some rain in some cities, some flood in some place else. A little bit of, uh, you know, the tide began to rise and all of that began to happen. Hallelujah. In some places. Hallelujah. But we're still here. So we know that that was not the end of the world. Hallelujah. That was not the return of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We are still here. Hallelujah. And so we must stay focused on God, stay focused on his word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he said, really, no man really knows when the end is going to be. Amen. Now, he said, we may, we may see signs. We may have an idea to say that these are the last days. Hallelujah. But we don't know the exact time, nor the exact, exact hour when God is going to come back. But we must be ready. Hallelujah. We must be ready for when he returns. Hallelujah. And so the Bible says, John 10 and 10, the devil who is the thief is as a roaring lion and he will try this uh, and he seek. Sorry, 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 John, John, John. Let me go back to John 10, 10. I, I, I'm quoting hallelujah. Let me finish quote that anyhow. The devil is like a roaring lion and he seeketh whom he may devour. Hallelujah. Amen. So, and that's what the devil does. He will seek you out. He, he seeks out people to devour. But in John 10, he said, when the thief is come, but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Again, that's the, he's talking about the same devil who's like a roaring lion, seeking who he may devour. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And if you are not conscious of God, if your focus is not on God, if your attention is not on God, 
you will find that the devil will steal your time, he will steal your energy, because he will have you running here, there, everywhere, uh, listening to everything that man is saying, uh, and then you begin to react to everything that the man, that man is saying, and you will spend your whole life just going and, and, and responding to everything that the world says or that the devil puts out there. You're responding to it. God does not want us to live like that. Amen? Hallelujah. God wants us to tune into him, to hear his voice, to hear his word. Hallelujah. And then begin to live our life based on the word of God. Hallelujah. You must, you must live your life based on what? The word of God. That's why he said to us, in, 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 in Mark 11 and verse 22, he said, we are to have faith in God. Now, today, our topic is, is faith and, 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 and success. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And finances. Hallelujah. Now, are we, be, based on time, we're going to try to deal. If we don't get to deal with them, one, one, we will come back and, and, and touch on, on, on all of those other areas, finances, success. But I, wanna, I really want to start with faith. I really want to deal with faith. Because our faith is being attacked. The devil is attacking the people of God, and he's, ta he's attacking them, hallelujah, to get them to lose faith in God. The Word tells us to have faith in God. That's what the Word of God tells us. Have faith in God. The devil don't want you to have faith in God. So, if you take your Bibles, and we're going to go, like I said, for a few minutes to bear with me. I'm not going to keep you long on the day, hallelujah, and we're going to go to the Word. But before we go to the Word, we want to remind you that revival is here. Hallelujah. Revival is here. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. God is moving so powerfully. God is moving so powerfully, hallelujah, in, Atlanta, in the Atlanta, Georgia area. Hallelujah. And so for the past two Two, two to three weeks, we've been up there, hallelujah, and we've seen God move. We saw life being, lives being touched. We saw people coming and surrendering and giving their life to the Lord, hallelujah. People were being touched by the power of God, healed, hallelujah, walking out of wheelchairs, walk, putting, putting their cane and their walker down. People was healed from fibroids and from cancer, hallelujah, in the services, all types of miracles were happening in those services over the past few weeks. Hallelujah. Right there in Atlanta, Georgia area. And so we want you to know, hallelujah, we just, I, I just got to get it out there. This is hot off the press. Hallelujah. You know, and just, you know, the day when you need your, your keyboard player or someone to give you the breaking news music, they're not here, but we're going to make our own breaking, mu breaking news music today. Hallelujah. Hot off the press. <laughs> hot off the press, people of God. Hot off the press. Hallelujah. We will be again in the Georgia area this coming Friday and Sunday morning. Hot off the press, live, just come, you know, you know, you know, when you get the, when the, when the cake just baked, when the bread just baked, and you walk in that room, you could smell that good scent, where you could, where the, that fresh bread that just came out of the oven. Well, this is hot, hot, hot off the press. Dun, 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 dun. We will be in Georgia area this coming Friday. This coming Sunday, hallelujah. Now, I'm going to give you, I want you to listen. I want you to hear it. It's going to be at the Legacy Center. The Legacy Center. Y'all got that? The Legacy Center. Uh, and it's going to be 3015R, like in Righteous, and like in Nordage, Martin Street. 3015R, like in Righteous, and like in Nordage, Martin Street. East, East, E-A-S-T, East Point, Georgia, 30344. East Point, Georgia, 30344. So that's the Legacy Center, 3015RN, Martin Street, East Point, Georgia, 30344. So that's where the revival will continue in the, in the Atlanta, Georgia area, in East Point. It's only about, they say, it's only about 10 or 10 minutes or so from the airport. 
So those of you that, you know, you want to fly in and be a part of it, listen, you know, a, a Uber shouldn't cost that much if you can't rent a car. A Uber shouldn't cost that much to get for a 10 minutes drive. So you can come on in on Friday evening. We'll be there. We will start it off on Friday evening around about 6.30, hallelujah, in the afternoon. Doors will be open from about 5, 5.30, hallelujah, in the afternoon. And we, we're going to have revival services. Prophet is Dr. Marty Nordic, hallelujah, preaching in, in revival service as the revival continue in the Georgia area. And then it will continue into the Sunday morning, hallelujah, on Sunday morning at about our, our usual time, 10 a.m., Hallelujah, doors will open at about 8.30. Hallelujah, on Sunday morning, you can come, you can come, you can come from wherever you are. So all of our friends, all of our friends in the surrounding areas, first of all, the, uh, the Alabama areas, hallelujah. And, and, and uh, they say, they say uh, North Carolina is not too far, about three hours studying far in America, hallelujah. So all of those surrounding areas, you, you need to just get, make your plans now. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and join, join Dr. Marty Nordis in Atlanta, Georgia. Now, for those of you who say, oh, I don't know if I could make it up there. Well, we will still be here in Florida. We will be in Florida that Friday night. We will be right here in Florida, hallelujah, Oakland Park Boulevard, 7301 West Oakland Park Boulevard, right here in this beautiful city of Florida. So you can, if you can't make it to Atlanta, then you come, if you can't make it to the Legacy Center, hallelujah, then you could come down to Fort Lauderdale, 7301 West Oakland Park Boulevard, hallelujah, and join us Friday night, hallelujah, yours truly, I will be here in the, in the house for this week, hallelujah, and then on Sunday morning again at 10 a.m., join us right here. Now, so you got a choice, you got a choice, you got a choice. You can't stay home. You cannot stay home. You're either going to be in Fort Lauderdale here with me or you're going to be in Georgia with our prophetess at the Legacy, Legacy, sorry, Legacy Center, 3015 R.N. Martin Street, East Point, Georgia, 30344. So we are looking forward to seeing you at one of those locations. Of course, Bahamas will be open. So if you can't fly out from the Bahamas, we will see you on Carmichael Road. Hallelujah. Join us on Carmichael Road. We will be open in the Bahamas. Hallelujah. Having services. Texas will be having service. So if you can't come from Texas, hallelujah, then we, we will see you in humble, humble, humble Texas. Amen. Hallelujah. So join us, join us, join us at one of these locations on this coming Friday night and then again on this coming, hallelujah, Sunday morning. Hallelujah. So we just wanted to drop that in there. Open that up to you. Of course, don't forget tonight, tonight, which is Wednesday. Hallelujah. We are live. We are right here live. As actually, you might believe it, but I am right in the sanctuary, and I'm talking to you. Hallelujah. I, I, had, I had the studio set up, but I said, let's come out in the sanctuary one time, and let's just start to saturate the sanctuary for tonight. Hallelujah. So we are in the sanctuary right now in Oakland Park Boulevard with 7301. So we're going to be here tonight. Hallelujah. We're going to be our urgent night of prayer. So wherever you are, make your way, make your way. That's a powerful night. That's a night you do not want to miss. Hallelujah. So join us here this afternoon. We start at about 730. Hallelujah. Right here, uh, we're going to be praising and praying, praying for your needs. Hallelujah. Praying for your requests. Believing God, we had a powerful move, a powerful time last Wednesday, and people were touched, and people were healed, and we had testimonies of people that were healed. People got their 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 their, their green card and got their status approved, and all sorts of things that we prayed for happened. People that were sick in the hospital, and as we prayed, they were healed. They were they were they were sent home from the hospital healed. Hallelujah! We prayed for people that were in the coma in comas, and some of them already came out, hallelujah, out of the coma as we pray, hallelujah, God delivered them, God healed them and brought them out. So prayer, prayer still is the, is the key. Prayer is the key, hallelujah. So you don't want to miss prayer, so push your way out, push your way out, and join us, hallelujah, tonight, 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 at 7.30, amen? Can I get an amen out there? Can I get a praise the Lord? Can I get some fire? Give me some fire. I like to see the fire. I like to see the fire on the screen. Just send it up. Send the fire up. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. God is good. So we give God praise. Again, like I said, we are. We came today to just officially, hallelujah, invite you. 
hallelujah, as we officially launch Apostolic Warriors TV. Amen? Hallelujah. You know, we started, and, and so many people was, was, was just going out there and just using my name and sending out links that I that saying that I was on YouTube. And I God said, man, you will let the people just keep using your name. You might as well go out there and do it yourself. Amen? And so he, we started this, hallelujah, and, 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 you know, we came out, and he said, and it's also an avenue, hallelujah, an extra avenue. Because, see, in the last days, the Bible says, you know, it's going to be perilous times, and the devil is going to be so, he's going to be so bug us what the, as to what God is doing. Now God is moving, hallelujah. So he'll try anything to shut churches down, but you got to be ahead of the devil, Amen. And so you got to have different avenues and different venues and different ways. So when he think he got you here, he ain't know. Just like he, he thought he was doing the greatest thing by putting Jesus to death. But Jesus said, you didn't put me to death. You didn't take my life to start with. I gave my life. But he thought he was doing a great thing. And he didn't know he was working right into the plan of God. He is exactly what God wanted to happen. That's why Jesus came to the earth. He came to die. The devil thought he was getting the victory by getting the people to say, crucify Christ and give us Barabbas. But he didn't know, oh, no, God had a greater plan. Hallelujah. And so we just keeping the avenues open. And so we will officially launch it now. It was on air for a few weeks, a few, almost a couple of months now. But we want to officially launch it, Apostolic TV. So we need you to link up, share the link. Then we also need you to get those people who have not, Yet, subscribe. Let them subscribe. Come on, subscribe, sub subscribe. Hallelujah. And be a part of what God is doing. Hallelujah. In this season. So we give God praise. Hallelujah. And so we started, I started to give you a scripture. I gave you a couple already. First one I give you was, hallelujah, John 10 and 10. which says uh, the thief. Who's the thief? Who's the thief? The devil. The devil, he came to kill and steal, and destroy. Jesus said, I came that you might have life, that you might have life more abundantly. He came to give you abundant life. Now, I want to take you to a scripture, and you know, as I read it, every time I read it, I seem to get a different revelation, but let's go to Luke 18, and, and, and you know, we know the, 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 the voices leading up from verse 1 to uh, verse 7 is talking about, you know, the woman that kept going to the un just judge, amen, the unrighteous judge, and asked this judge to say, hallelujah, to, uh, avenge me, deliver me from my enemies, avenge me of my enemies. And, you know, she went and she was turned down by the judge. The judge said no. She went, she was turned down by the judge. She went, she was turned down by the judge. Hallelujah. But the woman never stopped. She kept going, she kept going, she kept going, she kept going until eventually when she went this time, the judge said, you know what? Except this woman drive me crazy. Unless this woman drive me crazy, I, I, I got to give her what she is asking for. Hallelujah. So it, it shows you not only persistence in prayer, but it also shows you uh, persistency in faith. Amen. This woman had a persistent faith. Her faith was telling her, don't give up. Her faith was telling her, listen, okay, yes, the judge already tell you no. First time, the second time, the third time, maybe up to the seventh time. The judge told you no, but don't give up, don't give up, don't give up. Keep going. And she kept going until eventually when she went that last time, the judge said, okay, go ahead. You win the case. Amen. You are vindicated. Hallelujah. And so she got the victory, but she got the victory because she did not give up. Amen. And so many of you, if you're going to get the victory, you cannot give up. So many of you have not gotten the victory in your life or over the thing that you were praying for because you gave up. You, you, you stopped praying over it after a few maybe weeks or even maybe months. In some cases, it may be even a few years. You were praying and it looked like nothing has happened, and so you stopped praying. You gave up. But with faith, faith never gives up, and you can't give up. And so in verse 8, Jesus asked the, he asked the question. He said, hallelujah, in verse 8, I tell you, because he began to ask, he said, uh, if the unjust judge, hallelujah, knows how to, hallelujah, change his mind and bless and was able to bless this woman, hallelujah. He said, then the Lord said in verse 6, 
Listen to what the unjust judge said. He said, and will not, uh, in verse 7, and will not our just God defend and avenge his elect, his chosen ones, who cry out to him day and night? Will he delay in providing justice on their behalf? And the answer to that is, of course not. God will, God will avenge you. God will not leave his chosen people to continue to suffer. God will avenge you. Hallelujah. And so you just got to keep going to God. You can't get tired of going to God. You can't get tired of crying, oh, I was coming to prayer. I ain't, I ain't missed prayer yet for the year, but it ain't look like the thing that I'm praying for happened. So keep coming. God, God wants you to be committed. Hallelujah. Oh, I was praying and I was praying. I was praying for the last, uh, uh, the last year and the thing ain't break yet. Hey, keep praying. That's what this woman did. Hallelujah. That's what the man at the pool did. He keep believing. He keep having faith. And he, keep, he, he stayed there until he got his healing. 38 years, but he got his healing. Amen? And so he said now, hallelujah, I tell you in verse 8, he will defend and avenge them quickly. God will, tell the person on the side, you, God will offend. Sorry, God will defend. <laughs> he ain't going to offend you. He can defend you. God will defend and avenge you quickly. God will, God will respond to your prayer. Amen? Now, however, he said, when the Son of Man comes, will he, will he find what? This kind. Now, in the King James, he said, it just said, will he find faith on the earth? But in the Amplified, it says, will he find this kind of persistent faith on the earth? Hallelujah. When God comes, he said, when I come back, will I find this, guy, this type of persistent faith? Is there still persistent faith on earth? Are Christians, do Christians still have persistent faith? Okay, let's break it down. Let's break, let, let's break it personal. Do you still have persistent faith? Hallelujah. Or do you have the faith that gives up? Do you have the faith that say, I'm going to try a few times, and if it don't work, I could just leave it alone. What type of faith are you operating in today? See, many people, and I know you, you know what I'm talking about, you go and you're trying to get something accomplished, and you say, well, anyhow, I'm going to try this one more time. Anybody know what I'm talking about? I, I, I'm going at this one more time. If it don't work when I go at it this time, that's it. See, that's not persistent faith. That's not the type of faith that this woman was going back to the unjust judge with. This woman was going back to that unjust judge with a type of faith that says, listen here, if he tell me no today, I am going back again tomorrow. She had the type of faith that she was never going to stop until she got the answer that she was seeking. Until she got the result that she was seeking for. Hallelujah. And so, and so, some of you need, this is why God sent me to you. See, let me, I can say something. Maybe you heard it before, maybe you didn't. Everything that the devil does to you or against you, whether you believe this or not, is to get you to lose faith in God. Hallelujah. Everything, everything, every time the enemy comes at you, whatever way he comes at you from, yes, he, his aim is, he wants to get you so discouraged until you get to the point where you lose faith in God. This is what the devil is after. He wants you to lose faith in God. Because as long as you still have faith in God, there is still hope. There is still the possibility that that thing will happen. So everything that the devil do to you is really to attack your faith. He don't want you, he don't want you to remain faithful to God. When he got on, on to the point of waiting until he comes back and take you away with him. He wants you to give up before God comes back. He wants you to lose that faith that you had one time ago when you were strong in faith. Now, many of you are weak. Even though you say you still have faith, you are weak in faith. Your faith is wavering. Your faith is very wavering. Wishy-washy. Hallelujah. On the river, on the bank. But he wants you to have strong faith. He wants you to have persistent faith, just like this woman. Do you know what it is to go back 
and keep going to a judge who, the same judge who already tell you no, let's say five times. You stood before this judge five times on this same matter. Not like you were going before him on a different matter. On the same matter, you went back to the judge five times. And on five of those times, he tell you no. You say, I'm going back. You went back a sixth time, and you still lose the case. See, the miracle, the miracle in the whole thing is the fact that the judge even continued to hear the case. Because normally, when, when let's, let's, let's use that word that they use in the court, appeal. Usually, you may get one and maybe two appeal, appeal, and then after that, the only way, if it's a, if it's a real serious case, then they say, you got to take it to a higher court. Because now I have already ruled at this level, and my ruling is this, this is my ruling. So if you want to appeal this, you got to take this to a higher court and see if they will overturn what my ruling is. This woman went to the same judge in the same court at the same level more than five times, and, she, and they, they heard the case every time she went. But, her, but she lost the case. But her faith was so strong, she said, I don't care. I'm going back again. And she went back, and she made up her mind that she was going back until she got the answer that she was looking for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so God is saying to the, to the people of God, to the saints of God, he sent me to say to you, you got to get persistent faith. Get rid of that weak faith. Get rid of that shaky faith and have persistent faith. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep praying, keep praying. Keep pushing. Hallelujah. Keep pushing until you get your breakthrough. Keep pushing. Keep praying until you get your answer, until you get your, hallelujah, the result that you are looking for. Hallelujah. You keep going after it. You keep talk, calling on God. He said, if you call upon me day and night, one day I will avenge you. Hallelujah. I will come to your rescue. Hallelujah. So you got to keep pushing. So I came by today to tell somebody, you got to keep on pushing. Tell the person on the side, you keep pushing. Keep pushing. Tell that person, hallelujah. Come on, send it out in the chat. Send it out in the chat. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Hallelujah. Do not allow the devil to cause you, hallelujah, to stop having faith in God. Because that's what he, that what he's after. Now, I'm going to take you to Jude, and I will give you this last scripture, and then we're going to get ready to bring this in. Hallelujah. As we go into Jude now, he tells us, he began to tell us that we have to fight. We have to fight. You have to fight for our faith. Hallelujah. You got to fight. You got to fight. You know, that's, I, I think fighting is a word that <laughs> I don't know if Christians like to hear it. You know, it's so sad that so many of us that call ourselves disciples of God. We don't like when you say fight. And we ain't talking about, you know, physically going out there and getting in the parking lot and punching somebody and, you know, physically Hallelujah, kicking somebody physically. But you got to fight in the spirit. You got to, he said, you got to contend. And, and, and so too many Christians are not willing to fight. We are afraid of a fight. Amen. Now, the truth of the matter is sometimes you may have to fight physically just to get yourself out of a jam. Hallelujah. You know, I know he said turn the other cheek, but, you know, somebody come in your house and, walk right up into your house and just trying to take over your house, I, I believe you have a right to, hallelujah, defend your promises, your premises, amen? So if you got, sometimes you may have to fight, but Christians, Christians don't like to hear fight. We got to change that. Because he said now, in, in Jude, if you go to, there's only one chapter, if you go to the third verse of Jude, he said what? Beloved. Got somebody talking to you. And he talking to me. He said, Beloved, while I was making every effort to write to you about our common salvation, I was compelled to write to you, urgently appealing that you fight strenuously for the defense of the faith which was once and for all handed down to the saints. Who was it handed down to? Who was it handed down to? It was handed down to the saints. Hallelujah. Who was the saints? 
We are the saints. Amen? We, are, we, we supposed to be the saints. Amen? He said, I, 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 now in, in the King James again, it says that you earnestly contend for the faith, which was once delivered unto the saints. But in the Amplified, it says, I write, write that, I mean, I, I write unto you telling you that you must fight strenuously for the defense of the faith which was once and for all handed down to the saints. The faith that is the sum of Christian belief that was given verbally to the believers. The faith. You got to fight for your faith. You got to fight for the, what is that? The sum. The sum of Christian belief that was given verbally to the believers. The, the word of God that was given to you. When he said, have faith in God and hallelujah, in Mark 11 and 22. When he said, have faith in God, have faith in God, have faith in God, have faith in God. Hallelujah. That was he, he, the word was given to you. Hallelujah. He said, if you have faith, this, these are the words that was given. If you have faith, the size of a grain of mustard seed, you should speak to the mountain and cause the mountain to move. He said, according to your faith, it will be done. How? Unto you. According to who faith? Your faith. Hallelujah. So, if nothing is happening for you, why is nothing happening for you? It's, it simply, it comes back to you. Your faith is not strong. Your faith, you don't have persistent faith. Hallelujah. And so Jesus said, you got to fight in Jude. He said, you got to fight for this faith. The devil now is coming after your faith. I told you, everything that the devil do is to get you to lose your faith, to, we, to weaken you in faith. When you, if you're weakened in faith, hallelujah, then what's going to eventually happen? You don't want to serve God. You don't want to come to the house of God. You don't want to do nothing to, for God no more when you become weak in faith. If your faith in God is weak, you become weak. You become a weak Christian because your faith is weak. If your faith is persistent, then you become a persistent Christian. And you will start to believe that all things are truly possible if your faith is persistent and strong. So you got to keep your faith strong. He said, faith comes in the book of Romans. Faith comes by hearing and continuously hearing the word of God. The problem is we don't spend time in the word of God. We don't hear the word of God. And so that's one of the ways that the enemy used to, to cause us to get weak. We will not take the time to stay in the word of God. We, will, we, 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 we cannot be even consistent with attending the house of God, to hear the word of God. Hallelujah. And so you got people that have made up in their mind they are one-day Christian. When they come to church one day out of the week, they call themselves Christian, but they only come to church one day out of the week. Hallelujah. And after they don't give that one day, they feel that they have already done all that they're supposed to do. No, you're not going to be strong. It's going to be hard for you to stay strong like that. Hallelujah. You need to come. Hallelujah. Imagine. Hallelujah. You're supposed to be to work six days a week, but you only show up one day a week. What, 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 what do you think would be the consequences? Hallelujah. What do you think would happen? You're supposed to be five days to your job, but you say, I only go in one day every week. And you're supposed to be there five days a week. You're going to you get yourself in some problems. You're going to be in some trouble. And when you do come that one, that next, the one day the next week, you're going to meet somebody waiting with an envelope in their hand to tell you, we are no longer in need of your services. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, they probably will tell you, we thought you resigned. We thought you quit. Because we only didn't see you from Monday and all of from Monday after Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We didn't see you to work, so we thought you resigned. We didn't get a call to say you wasn't coming. We didn't get a call to say you was in the hospital. We thought you resigned. Amen? So, it's the same thing now. If you're going to build your faith, you got to get in the Word. you got to stay in the house of God. you got to stay in prayer. you got to stay reading the Word. He said, that's how faith comes. That's how faith is developed. That's how faith is, is, is made strong. That's how faith becomes persistent. Hallelujah. And so the reason why I, I, I want to go on faith, because see, I, I, I wanted to touch on faith before I get into the finances. Hallelujah. And even in success. Because if you have a successful faith life, it's easy for you to have a successful financial life. It will be easy for you to have a, a, a successful life. Hallelujah. Once your 
faith life is strong. Your faith in God is established. Hallelujah. And you are working the principles of faith. Then you can take that principle and work that with you to be successful. Hallelujah. You could take that same principle and work that in your in, in finances and cause your finances, hallelujah, to be blessed and cause finances to come to you. Because you you have learned how to work faith. Hallelujah. See, faith is, is just like he said, it's just like giving. Give, it will be given back to you. Good measure. Press down, shaking together, run it over. So faith now, as you build faith, you become stronger and stronger. Your life, you 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 talk when when you you can tell a person, hallelujah, you could tell a person that is strong in faith, that has persistent faith. Listen to how they talk. And listen to somebody that is weak in faith. And you can tell the difference. The person who's weak in faith, you say, oh my God. You say, we need to get, we need a building for the church. Hallelujah. The person that is weak in faith, I, I, well, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know we could do that. Hallelujah. That's weak in faith. Because you see, we, a weak faith person, he ain't no, he never ain't no nothing. He's afraid of a challenge. Hallelujah. He's afraid. Because his faith is weak. See, because he, whenever your faith is weak, what happens? You begin to lean on flesh. And you believe that you have to do this thing of your flesh. And when, it, and when God is saying, you ain't got to do it of your flesh if you have faith. He said, if you have faith, I will do the thing for you. You just got to have faith to believe that I can do the thing. But because your faith is weak, you can't even have enough faith to believe. Hey, I just got to believe God and God will work it out. Hallelujah. And so it's just like the 12 spies went out. 10 came back saying, oh, no, we can't, we can't take that land. Giants in that land. Amen. We can't, we can't do that. We can't do that. And then two came up and said, hey, listen here. We are well able. To possess the land. What was the difference? One was strong, two was strong in faith, and the other ten was weak. They had no faith. Hallelujah. And so they said, no, no, you know where we could do that. Hallelujah. We ain't gonna be able to, to get them giants out that land. How are you gonna beat them giants? You don't have to beat the giants. God will fight your battle if you will only have faith. Hallelujah. God will fight the battle for you if you could only have faith. Now, faith means you gotta show up. When you have faith, when you say you have faith, that means you got to show up. See, the weak, the weak in faith ain't going to never show up because they already know giants in the land. So when they say we are going to possess the land tomorrow, the weak in faith goes to find some place to hide and we ain't going up there. Because them giants in the land, they, they big, they strong. Hallelujah. But the, but the people who have faith, they're going to show up. And just by showing up, you are showing God that you are trusting him and now God will step in and he will intervene and he will make a way for you to win that battle. In one case, one case they will go into the battle and God sent one angel, one angel, and one angel wiped, up, wiped out about 186,000 men. Now, in a way, the army of Israel was able to have enough men to win that battle, but God just wanted to know that they had faith in him. And he sent one angel to wipe out over 186,000 soldiers from the enemy's camp. Hallelujah. And so your faith now got to get to the point like this woman. He said, he, who said that I ain't giving up. You got to fight. You got to fight. You got to fight. He said, you must fight for this faith that was delivered. He said, because man, in verse 4, we ain't got time to go because our time is gone. He said, but man, 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 certain men have crept in who are ordained to this condemnation. Their job was to come and to cause you to lose your faith, to cause you to give up on God. And so he said, I want to say to you today, beloved, God says it's time for you to fight. You got to fight. You got to fight. You got to fight for the faith that God has given unto you. Hallelujah. You got to fight for your faith. Hallelujah. And you must stay strong in faith. Hallelujah. Believe God. Have faith in God. Trust in God. Hallelujah. He said, if you trust in me with all of, all of your heart, Lean not to your own understanding in all of your ways. Do what? Acknowledge God. Tell the person who said you got to acknowledge God. You got to acknowledge God. You got to acknowledge God. Who are I talking to today? You got to acknowledge God. You got to put God first. God has to be first. God has to be first. Hello? God has to be first. And God wants to be first. God wants to be first. Amen? 
God wants to be first in your life. Amen? So you can't, you can't give up. Now, my book, hallelujah, that I wrote, hallelujah, uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. You can't give up. You got to stay in the fight. Amen? You got to stay in the fight. Or uh, I said it like this on the, on the topic, get back, get back in the fight. Get back in the fight. You got to get back in the fight. Some of you have given up. You, you're not even fighting no more. You know, you're just sitting down and you're looking around. You're looking around. You're looking around for somebody to come fight for you. Amen? God is the one who want to fight for you. You know, it's, it's something I have to say, and I, I, again, time is going so quickly. But, you know, this is what I want to say. You know, it got to the point where people begin to, the word of God put it like this. Do you look at the, you look to the creature more than you look to the creator. And so people begin to look like, look at me like I'm the creator. I'm not the creator. Amen? Hallelujah. So you got church people now, they begin, instead of they looking to God, they crying out to God, you know, they focus on, on the leaders. Like, you know, yes, you respect your leader, but we ain't the one that, we are not the one that's going to bless you when you give. God blesses you. Amen? And even if sometimes God speaks to us and say, bless this person and bless the next person and bless the next person, that is not for you to stop looking to God and start looking to the leaders. Hallelujah? Because God is the one who directs us who to bless. So you still got to go to God and cry out to God. And then God will show us and say, hey, so and so, I want you to just be a blessing to them. Hallelujah? But people start to look to us like we, we no, look to God. Keep your eyes, keep your eyes on God. And so you, you cannot afford, you cannot afford to get out of the fight. You cannot afford to lose your faith. Hallelujah. You cannot afford, you cannot afford, hallelujah, you cannot afford, hallelujah, to lose your faith. You got to keep fighting. You got to keep fighting. You got to keep Fighting. What did I say? You got to keep fighting. So I want to give you these three rules that I, I, I know you've heard it, but I want to do it again. Three rules for success. Amen. And we're going to close. We're going to get ready to pray with you. I want to pray with you. So don't go nowhere yet. We're going to pray with you, and then we're going to release you. And so the first one that we gave you, hallelujah, and some of you should have them, but for those that didn't hear it, is you can never give up. Amen. Never give up on God. Never lose faith in God. Never stop believing God. Don't stop believing that God is able. Don't stop believing that God could do it. We would not get to where we are today if we had stopped believing God. We would not accomplish what we are accomplishing today if we had stopped believing God. Hallelujah. We would, never, we would, we would, we would have never gotten this far. Hallelujah. If we had stopped believe in God, if we had given up on God, we would have never, ever gotten this far. Y'all know the saying, winners never quit. Quitters never win. So there are many people who quit and they ain't winning. They already gone off the scene because they quit. They stopped believing. They didn't believe that God could do it. It got a little hard. Let me tell you something about life. Life is full of curves. Life is, life, life is full of ups and downs. That's everybody's life. That ain't, ain't, no, ain't nobody is exempted from some curveball coming at them in life. Ain't nobody in life is ex exempted from some hills and valleys. Hallelujah. Some hard times. Everybody, in, ooh, ooh, everybody that's alive, some point of time in their life going to go through some curves. They're going to experience some hills and valleys. What's the difference, though? The difference is the person who say, I'm going to trust God. I'm holding on to God, no matter what comes my way. So the person who is successful is the person who say, yes, I've got, I, I, I see the same hills. I, I'm dealing with some of the same hills that you're dealing with over there. But I'm holding on to the Lord. My trust is in God. My faith is in God, and I'm going to allow God to lead me through. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to let the hills cause me to give up. I'm not going to let the valleys cause me to give up. I'm not going to let the curves, because everybody's going to have to deal with it. 
Jesus himself, when he was on earth, he had some ups and downs. He had some hills and valleys. But he knew what his assignment was, and he, was, he said, I'm not giving up. I got to carry out the assignment. You got to carry out your assignment. You got to continue to have faith in God. So never, ever give up. Keep, put God first, first of all. Put him, put God first, and then keep him first. Make God your priority. Hallelujah. Step number two is you got to take risk and walk in faith. Now that sounds like, that ain't, those two words sound like they don't go together. But you got to take that risk. When you're walking in faith, you're going to have to step out. You say, what you talking about taking risks? When Peter stepped out of that boat, <laughs> Peter was taking a risk. Peter didn't know if he was going to float or if he was going to go down. But he stepped out based on the word of God. He said, if it's you, God, tell me to come out. God said, come out. It's me. So it, it, it was the same person that he saw, and he still don't know, if, is this Jesus or not? But by the words, remember what we read in, 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 in Jude? He said, he said, what did he say? Hallelujah. You got to fight for the faith. And, and what the faith is? The sum of Christian belief that was verbally given to the believers. So Peter had to step out on the word that Jesus saying, it is I come. That's what Peter, Peter stepped on. He, he still didn't touch him. He wasn't close enough to see if this is Jesus or not. But he got a word. He said, Lord, Master, if that is you, bid me, tell me to come. And he said, and, and the voice came back and said, it is I, Peter, come. And Peter, on that word, that sum of word, he stepped out. And he walked on the water. Amen? He walked on the water. He didn't know if he was going to sing or what. But he said, I, gonna take, I am going to take this chance. In faith, I'm going to step out of this boat. Hallelujah. And he, the only man, different from Jesus, that is recorded to a walk on water. That, that's recorded. I don't know of nobody else. You know, they do all these movies to try and make it look like they're walking on water, but we know they ain't walking on water. Hallelujah. And so, this is, this is, you want to have to step out. Hallelujah. You know, you want to have to, sometimes you're going to have to give. And you say, I've been giving for so long. Keep giving. Because, I, I, you know, the, 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 the people that gamble, they go for such a long period, sometime before they ever win anything. But a person that's a true, a real gambler, they don't stop gambling. And they don't lose hundreds and thousands of dollars gambling, but they still believe. They, in their mind, they still believe that one day they're going to hit this number. They're going to win this lotto. And so they don't stop buying. And I can tell you, some of them never win. Many of them, not some, many of them never win in their life. But they never stop buying that number or that card, hoping that they're going to win. That's somebody that is committed to gambling. And so when you're committed to God, you got to have that same type of mind. You got to say, you know what, man, I, I going I to give it. I believe that my day is going to come. The difference between God and man is when you gamble is exactly that, a gamble. It's a gamble. Amen? It's a gamble. Chances you win, chances you lose. That's what a gamble is. Chances you may win, chances you may lose. That's what gambling is. Amen? I might win, I might lose. I might never win, but I'm going to keep trying. But when you give to God, it's not a, giving to God is not a gamble. Giving to God is a guarantee that when you give, he said in Luke, it will be given back to you. This is the finances. When you give, it will be what? Given back to you. This is a 110, 200% guarantee. I am guaranteed that when you give, God give it back to you. God gives it back to you. Hallelujah. 
And so don't let, don't let nobody tell you giving to God is a gamble. That's not a gamble. That's a guarantee. If you are consistent, if you are committed with giving to God, listen, the time is going to come when, the, when, the, when, when finance is going to come into your life from all over and you even ain't going to know, oh my God, what's happening? How is this happening? How am I being blessed? Amen? Hallelujah. So you got to keep giving. You got to keep giving. You know, and so you got you to know that it's not a gamble. It's not a gamble when you give to God. You know, I'm reminded of, 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 of a lady in this church and, uh, you know, she went through some, some stuff and she's right here today. Hallelujah. And she went through some stuff with a car and a vehicle and she was in a little accident. And the people turn around and turn around and turn around and turn around for, I mean, forever, seems like. They just keep turning her around. You know, and we just, as we just, all when she came and came and talked to me, I say, we just got to keep praying, sis. Okay, the, the devil got to lose what belongs to you. And we kept praying. I say, and don't stop giving. You keep giving and keep praying. And she kept doing that. And then they started to tell her, no, we're going to fix the car. And she was trying to get them to just write the car off and just get her another car. Give her a check to get another car. No, we're going to fix the car. And they run around, run. But eventually, because of her continued praying and her continued giving, she never turned back on God. She never stopped coming to church. She kept coming to church even at some time when she had to catch a ride or catch an Uber. She kept coming to church. And then eventually what happened? God worked the whole thing out. They gave her the check more than what they even should have been giving her because of her persistence in, in, in obeying and having faith in God and her persistence in giving to God. She got blessed over what she was supposed to get blessed. Hallelujah, hallelujah. No, I mean, we, I know y'all want me to say the name, but we're just talking right now. We were, I'm trying to build your faith to let you see when you stay persistent with God. So he said, take that rest. You, you don't stop giving. Don't get weary. Keep giving, keep giving, keep giving, keep giving. Keep praying, keep praying. Don't stop praying. Keep fasting. Don't stop fasting. Stay in the word. Don't stop getting in the word. Hallelujah. Stay with God. Don't go, don't turn back from God. Stay with God. Stay with God. I'm going to say it one more time for somebody. Stay with God. Hallelujah. Have faith in God. Keep trusting God. It's about to open. It's about to blow up. It's about to go in your favor. Hallelujah. It's about to, the, the, the blessings are about to run you down. Stay with God. Hallelujah. Don't turn away. And the third one I want to give you is keep going. Keep pressing until something happens. Keep going. Now, you know, uh, uh, there's a saying that say, you know, if you if you went if you go a thousand times, and it, and it don't work, then you go. What do you do? Try it a thousand and one times. You don't stop, cause the hundred time or the two hundred time or the thousand time, you ain't look like that. You go back a hundred and one time. You go back a thousand and one time. You keep going. You keep pushing. Failure is not an option. Giving up on God is not cannot be an option. Take that out. Take that out. Hallelujah. That cannot be the option. Because if you use that as an option, that's the option where things are going to go bad for you in your life. So you, you, you got to keep pressing. You got to keep pushing. Keep your eyes on the prize. Be like that woman in Luke 18. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hallelujah. And continue to press towards the mark of the higher calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Hallelujah. So as we get ready to wrap up this segment, in this session, you cannot give up. Somebody need to say that. Say that from your mouth. Let it, let it be heard from your mouth. I cannot give up. I cannot give up. I must continue to trust God. I cannot give up on God. Hallelujah. I cannot give up on God. I must continue to have faith in God. I must continue to push in God. I must continue to trust in God. Stay with God. Hallelujah. Don't give up on God, the song we always sing it, and God will never give up on you. Come on, clap your hands and give God praise. We're going to wrap it up right now. Hallelujah, we want to pray with you. Hallelujah, in a minute. Hallelujah. Now we want to remind you again, you are listening to Apostolic Warriors TV. Hallelujah. And so, hallelujah, as we get ready to go off air, hallelujah, I want you to uh, continue to send it out. This, people can go ahead and listen to this over again. Continue to send the link out. If you have not subscribed to this station, to this, uh, you can go ahead and subscribe. Subscribe, hallelujah, and be a part of what God is doing. We also want to remind you again with our announcements, hallelujah, this Friday night, this Sunday, 
we will be in Georgia, hallelujah, and it's called East Point, Georgia, hallelujah. East Point, Georgia, it's about 10 minutes away from uh, the, the International Airport there in Georgia, hallelujah. It's called the Legacy Center, the Legacy Center, the Legacy Center, 3015 R.N. Martin Street, hallelujah, R.N. Martin Street, 3015 R.N. Martin Street, East Point, Georgia, 30344. East Point, Georgia, 30344. Now, don't forget, it's the Legacy Center. So I'm sure even if you forget the address, if you put the Legacy Center in, they will, they will give you, I don't know if it's more than one in Georgia, but hallelujah, it's the Legacy Center. So it's 3015 dot Martin Street, East Point, Georgia, 303. Four, four. Today we will be the revival. Continue the revival, the, the revival fire or the fire revival. Hallelujah! It, it, it continue to burn. Hallelujah! And so join prophetess Dr. Marty Nordic. She will be there Friday night. Friday night, beginning at about six thirty in the afternoon, in the evening. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Doors open at five thirty. So you want to be there. Hallelujah! And then also, hallelujah, on Sunday morning beginning at 10, the doors open at about 8.30. Sunday morning, the team will be there. Prophetess Mighty Nordish will be there. You want to join all of you in those areas close by. Come on. Let's go to church. Let's go to church. If you are, if you are part of the global membership and you're close by, come on and join Prophetess Mighty Nordish there. If you can't make it there, join Apostle Addison Nordish right here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, better known as uh, 7301 West Oakland Park Boulevard, right here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Or we call it uh, Hollandale, I think. What is it? Lauderdale, Lauderdale, not Hollandale. Reverse. We, we, we <laughs> take that out of your mind. It's Lauderdale, Lauderdale, Florida. So that's 7301 West Oakland Park Boulevard, Lauderdale, Florida. Join us here. We will be here Friday night. At the same time, 7.30, hallelujah. And then again, on, we'll be here on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. So you know the Holy Ghost is going to be here and the Holy Ghost is going to be there. Hallelujah, you know the sounds of the Holy Ghost power moving just like a magnet. Moving here, moving there, moving here and everywhere. The Holy Ghost power will be moving all over. And then Bahamas will be, they will be in the Bahamas, Nassau Bahamas, Carmichael Road. Hallelujah, if you are in the Bahamas, if you are in Nassau, Come on down, Carmichael Road. They will be there having a powerful move of God. Hallelujah, in that, in that place. Hallelujah. And then Humble, 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 Texas. So if you can't, now listen, if you are a global member, you got to be in one of these locations. Now you got you to gotta get hooked up somewhere. Hallelujah. Make it to Georgia. Make it to Florida. Make it in the Baha Make it to Nassau Bahamas. Make it to Humble. Hallelujah. Come on. And, and if you really, 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 really can, hallelujah, afford to move, then you, go, then you go online. That's the only way we want you. Come online, hallelujah, and watch us online on Mighty Knowledge, hallelujah, TV, hallelujah, hallelujah. So, but be a part of it. God is doing great things. I am excited. I hope you are excited for what God is doing, hallelujah. I'm excited, Hallelujah. Ah, uh, you know, I like, I like to borrow uh, the saying from the Jamaicans. Big things are going. Hallelujah. Big, 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 big things. Big things, huh? <laughs> Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Big things are going. Aki and Zod Bishop in here. Hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. But hallelujah. Big things are happening. Big things are happening. People ask me, are you, are you Jamaican or Bahamian? I'm everything. I bet. I'm, I, have, I have multiple, hallelujah, citizenship. Hallelujah. Like Paul. Hallelujah. 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 But, you know, big things are happening. So you need to be excited. Hallelujah. Big things. Listen, I want to prophesy to you. If, if there ain't nothing big happening, do you hold your hand up? I'm going to speak big things in your life right now. I speak big things happening. Let big things, big, hold on, big good things, good big things, let it happen for you now. Let it begin to happen in your life. Good things, good big things, let it begin to happen for you now in your life in the name of Jesus. Could somebody receive that? Come on and receive it, receive it. Good things, good big things about to happen. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. I don't know why you're talking to but you, you're about to get a good big check, a big check, a big check. Uh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Big, big, big. Come on. You could, could you believe that God could bless you with a big check? Hallelujah. My, I, I don't even mean the size of the paper is big, but the number is big. The number on the check. Hallelujah. But I, I, feel, I feel some big checks coming in. I feel some big checks coming in. Y'all, anybody ready for a big check today? Uh, some big financials coming in. Oh, y'all, 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 y'all gotta, you gotta, you gotta believe it. You gotta take it in. You gotta, you gotta believe. Come on, pull it in, pull it in, pull it out of the atmosphere. Hallelujah! Come on, pull it in, pull it in. Hallelujah! Financial miracles. Let it hit your life. Let it hit your life. And then, for, and, and then, supernatural healing. Let supernatural healing hit your life. Listen, we're gonna get ready, and we're gonna get ready to release you for the day. Don't forget tonight. Tonight at seven thirty. We will be back up live, an urgent night of prayer. So please get back up on, the, on that will be on Mighty Nottage TV. Hallelujah, online, hallelujah, YouTube, and maybe Facebook, hallelujah, but definitely YouTube, Mighty Nottage TV. We will be live. For those of you that can make it in the house, we will be here, right here, 7301 West Oakland Park Boulevard. Come on down. Let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. And believe God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Believe God to meet Every need. So we're going to get ready, hallelujah, to, to excuse me, we're going to get ready to pray. We want you, uh, if you want to sow a seed today, we're going to get all that together, but you can continue to sow to Pastor Eddie, 67 at yahoo.com, Pastor Eddie, 67 at yahoo.com. You can sow your seeds there, hallelujah, you can sow your seeds there, you can send, if you have prayer requests, you can send your prayer request. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sow your seeds. Hallelujah. Pastor Eddie 67 at yahoo.com. I think they will put it up on the screen. Hallelujah. But we want to pray with you so you can go ahead and release your seed as God, as you, as you feel led of the Lord. Hallelujah. You can release that seed. Hallelujah. And just, just believe God. Just believe God as you release it. Don't, you never give a seed and then just throw it, you know. You know, farmers can take their seed and just throw it and, like, they don't care about it. No, they, they, they go and they try and prepare and plant that properly and come back and, and watch it and water it and believe, pray over it. You know, a lot of farmers usually pray over their seed. I mean, I'm talking like a corn seed or a pea seed. Before they put it in the ground, they pray and say, Lord, let this grow and let this bring forth a harvest. Amen? That's the, that's the literal seed. So as you, as you give your seed of uh, uh, finances, you pray over it and you're believing, trusting, hey, as I give it to you, God, I'm thanking you that you will give it back to me. Good measure, press down, shake it together, running over. You'll cause man, hallelujah, to pour into our bosom. So as you, as you release that seed today, we want to pray as you continue to give. Father, we thank you for your people. We thank you for every need that is represented today. God, we thank you for strengthening the faith, strengthening the faith of your people, those that have gone weak in faith, those that were at the point of giving up, those were, that they were at the point of, they didn't know where to turn. Lord, we, we speak to them and we pray strength on them right now in the name of Jesus and give them the strength, the courage to stand. Hallelujah. Give them the strength and the courage to stand. No matter what the enemy come against them with, Give them that strength and that courage to stand. Bless them today. Heal them today. Deliver them today in the mighty name of Jesus. As they release their seeds to you today, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, for receiving it and just giving it back to them. Press down, shaking together, running over. You will cause men to pour into their bosom. Father, we thank you that it is done now. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Amen. And we want to thank you, Lord. We Come on, let me give God praise for Prophetess Dr. Mighty Nordich. Hallelujah. Our prophetess, hallelujah, who is still up in the Georgia area and still, hallelujah, come on, she's still in the vineyard, working, working and preparing. And, 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 and hallelujah, allowing God to use her. We want to send a shout out to Prophetess, Prophetess, we love you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You know, I wish you were on the side of me right now with this launch, but hallelujah, you are not undoing the Lord's work, and I'm going to try to do the Lord's work down here. And then whenever we get back together, it will be another explosion. Hallelujah. So we give God praise for what he's doing. Hallelujah. So we speak strength on you. 
right down there in the, in the Georgia area. Hallelujah. And so we give God praise. We give God thanks. Listen, we want to thank you so much for tuning in to us today. Hallelujah. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy a day to just uh, spend a, about an hour with us today. It was about an hour. So we give God praise. And I remember, like I said, continue to share it. You can send, you can watch it. Go ahead. For those of you that came on late, you can watch it in, in, its, in its entirety. You can go ahead and watch it over. But share it out. Share it out. I find a lot of times, even when you share, a lot of people may not get to watch it till later on tonight or tomorrow morning. But they do go back. Some people do go back and watch it when you send it to them even after the broadcast is over. Amen. So we love you. Until we meet again, we say shalom. God bless you, and we'll see you real soon. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, yes, Lord.